guys, my name is Lacey of Spooky Lips and Fat Hips and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Fun fact, because I normally wear my hat everywhere, but I don't wear it to work and there's a pandemic and I haven't filmed in months, my hat was just like shoved in a corner somewhere covered in dog hair and I had to take care of that before filming. If you don't know, if you don't follow me on any of my social medias, which you should, or if you haven't watched any of my most recent lives, I adopted a puppy, he's not a puppy, he's now three years old. I adopted a dog on Halloween day, Remington, AKA Remy, shown here being a perfect angel. He is the love of my life. However, his light colored fur has completely ruined the spooky aesthetic and I needed to get that in order before we filmed today. He also barked the second I put the ring light on cause I don't think he knows what this is. So that's fun. Makeup Bingo, if you don't know, was originally a collab series started by Emily Hanhan and Teresa is Dead here on YouTube where you talk about new makeup releases, talk about if you'll buy it or not, maybe talk some shit, and you drink adult libations the entire time. Sign me the hell up. Audra at Home, one of the other loves of my life, was recently recruited into this series, and now me, and I'm just so happy. <laughs> this is so up my alley. I love a good cocktail. Uh, I love to talk about new makeup releases. I love to talk shit about new makeup releases. This is the perfect series for me. I will leave the information on how to play makeup bingo down below. I will include all of the lovely ladies that I just mentioned's channels and videos down below. And uh, this is my first time playing, so be nice to me because I gotta figure out the best mechanisms to play and to edit this video. But we're gonna try it out today. This is my bingo card. I believe in the series that I'm joining, the set of episodes that I'm joining, I should say, the card is newly edited. There's some suggestions that I added to this card, very excited. And all of the makeup that I could be talking about in this video will be linked down below. I'm going to pick a makeup release at random. If it fits an item on my bingo card, we'll check it off. We're gonna keep going and we're gonna keep drinking until I hit bingo. I have filled a wine glass to the brim with some Trader Joe's strawberry wine product. I'm trying to do air quotes with a phone in my hand. I don't think they can legally call this wine, but it's a wine product and it's like $5 a bottle and I'm here for it. The whole bottle practically fit in this wine glass. We're gonna pick a makeup item at random. Here we go. Ooh, okay. Okay. First up is this new Chanel Perles de Lumiere Illuminating Blush Powder. Limited edition, part of their Perles Eat Eclats collection. I'm so American, I'm so sorry. And it is $70. <laughs> My thing with Chanel, I own one Chanel product. I own the original Chanel cream bronzer and I didn't even buy it. I fell deeply in love with it when Hannah Smokey Glow Hannah let me use it for a video like th two or three years ago. And then Michelle Wong so kindly sent me one because she knew that I loved it. And I love that bronzer so much, but I've been terrified to ever dip into any other Chanel products ever since. But I want a full, I want every Chanel powder or product that's ever made ever, I feel like. Because aesthetically, they're gorgeous. This is such pretty embossing, but I can, st I feel like this color is just way too deep for me. And it's $70. Do you know what kind of damage I could do at Ulta for $70? but I wanna touch it. I wanna touch every Chanel highlighter. I don't own one. I kind of want the one that's shaped like a lion, but that's not relevant to this. I'm not gonna be buying this one. It is a touch of rosy champagne color. It just looks way too deep for me. I think this would be really pretty on darker skin tones though. I'm just not that bitch. I'm not that bitch that buys Chanel yet. We could get there someday. I think on my bingo card, this definitely counts as pretty embossing basic makeup, because I know this color exists a million times over in other products, but I, this would be the kind of thing that I would love to own to take Instagram photos with, which I think a lot of people do what I just said, buy the pretty embossing Chanel makeup so they could take photos for Instagram on it, but I'm not gonna do that, but I am gonna cross it off my bingo card. Yay! <laughs> Next up, something relevant to my aesthetic. The Upswing Extreme Longwear Liquid Eyeliner by Bite Beauty. Is it new? It says the secret to our, oh, Jeff, okay. 
I was just by beauty trying to sell me on how their black is better than all other black eyeliners. It's some new eyeliner from Bite Beauty. It looks, is it a felt tip? It looks like a, almost like a sponge tip. Clean, vegan, and cruelty free. Passion flower extract helps nourish the eyeliner so it doesn't flake or dry out. Okay. Ultra pigmented jet black fade and smudge resistant, $25. I will say, I actually, this might be a controversial opinion. I don't think the $25 price tag is that bad for liquid eyeliner because even to the extent that I wear black eyeliner, I don't go through tubes of eyeliner that fast. I really don't. So I feel like $25 for a really good formula of eyeliner, I could probably make that last a while. However, I have a problem with Bite. My problem with Bite is that I kind of like the vibe and the aesthetic and the lifestyle that Bite sells, but I've had to throw out a lot of Bite lip products, especially in the past, because I found that they go rancid like way faster than a lot of other things. I'm always hesitant to try Bite Beauty because of that reason. Also, I am so cheap and basic when it comes to makeup products that I wear consistently and go through and eat up very fast. So eyeliners, mascaras, eyebrow products. I tend to buy very affordable versions of those things so that I could spend my money on more fun, like long-term products in my collection, like eyeshadows, blushes, highlighters, etc. I also don't like a felt tip or in this case, a sponge tip. I like a brush tip. I think brush tips are the best way to be precise in my opinion. And I'm gonna stick with my NYX liner, my NYX Epic Ink Liner, Sir and Ma'am, and Thems. There's nothing on my bingo card that this falls under, but I don't want it, just so you know. <laughs> oh man, these new Pat McGrath Love and Lust gloss duos. I say duos in plural, it's one duo, two lip glosses, plural lip glosses. They're in these heart-shaped, Vials is what they're calling it on trend mood in limited edition nude colors. I love the colors of these. I'm also disgustingly a Pat McGrath stan. I think $25 for two Pat McGrath lip products is not a bad deal at all. And I love these colors. I feel like these are two colors that would look good on a wide variety of skin tones. I think she nailed it with these choices. The packaging is kind of adorable, but it feels so clunky. I cannot imagine like taking this out of my pocket at work and trying to put, cause I feel like all the lip product, like how are you gonna get the one nub of the Remy? How are you gonna get the one nub of the heart unless the product, I guess, just eventually falls from gravity? It That kind of seems gross. And I have way, too much lip gloss in my life as it is, but I also almost rage bought these, but I didn't. There's a couple of things I actually feel like this could fall under on the bingo card, but I'm gonna say yet another lip gloss because lip glosses have truly taken over in the last like year, which I'm part of that team. I love a good lip gloss. Like I said, I have way too many. I did almost buy this. I'm just being real with you all. I was so close because I was like, oh my God, how cute. I, I got over it. We're safe. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, next is something that if you watched my highlighter video, you know, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> this is the new Fenty Beauty birthday kilowatt highlighter in Moscow Mule coming through solo dome. <laughs> Wait, so was it Gingerbread and Moscow Mule? Okay, those were a duo. I'm so stupid. Everything just clicked in my brain. And I'm an idiot. <laughs> Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule is a duo, a Fenty duo in the Kilowatt highlighters. This is Moscow Mule as a gigantic pan in one Fenty compact. <laughs> okay, so the reason why I'm particularly losing my shit. It's because I already own Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. But when I saw a birthday edition kilowatt highlighter, my brain just like, uh, and like auto paid for it. Like I already bought it. <laughs> this was announced hours ago as I'm filming this. 
saw it, clicked it, done deal. And I already fucking owned it the whole time. I'm so stupid. Um, plot twist, bitch. I actually didn't already own Ginger Bins in Moscow Mule. So I truly don't know why I'm losing my shit in this moment. I own Girl Next Door slash Chic Freak. I there's no issue here. You bought a brand new highlighter. It's fine. You're going to use it for blush draping. Shut the hell up. <laughs> I had had like not that much wine at this moment. I don't know what the hell was happening with me, but all right, continue. Well, don't read my makeup is the lesson of this. <laughs> so I'm going to put this on my bingo card as already bought it. <laughs> and the lesson here, kids, is to always read the description of a product before your brain just goes, oh my God, new thing. I am so mad at myself. Oh well, what's done is done. This Harris Reed MAC Cosmetics collection, the aesthetic of this is like, oh my God, all of the chef kisses everywhere. It is their MAC's first gender fluid makeup collection. Uh, the London-based designer created a collection inspired by 70s glam rock icons, David Bowie and Mick Jagger, and gilded Renaissance-inspired packaging. Love the packaging. I would put prints of this on my wall. Absolutely. But I cannot speak highly enough about the packaging. The inside products, I, I wish so badly these were just empty palettes. <laughs> I will say, this is, I'm gonna get on my, that was me hopping on my soapbox for a second. All makeup is gender fluid. Makeup is one size fits all. It doesn't have a gender. It doesn't have an ethnicity, a race, an age limit, anything. Everyone can wear makeup. All makeup is gender fluid. I understand the inspiration of this and I'm so here for it. I'm here for whatever helps masculine leaning people feel more comfortable experimenting with cosmetics because it is traditionally seen as a feminine thing. I'm here for something that kind of encourages makeup expression and people who wouldn't normally reach for makeup is what I'm trying to say. I see a it's a lipstick, a lipstick palette, eye pencil, cream, base the cream if i was going to get anything it would probably be what looks like a cream blush and highlight duo the eyeshadows look so excited in the pans but then the swatches are so blah i'm here for i can't speak enough good things about packaging though 10 on 10 i've never bought a matte collection in my life not gonna start now i just want this art i need to move on because i can't stop saying it i'm gonna i guess technically list this as a basic af neutral palette because truly the eyeshadows are basic. I understand why though, because you would want basic eyeshadows to bring in someone who might not wear makeup usually. <sighs> I don't know. I would just, I, if someone were to gift it to me, I'd be thrilled, but I'm not going out of my way to buy this collection. The new Beauty Blender Swirl and Blend Cleanse Set. I don't like this. This looks icky. Is that anybody else? This looks icky to me. Why does it look dirty? It looks gross. Two-tone orange and white swirl with vegan cleanser that removes SX makeup. Is the point of the design so that it won't look dirty <laughs> when you use it? Ew, I've never bought a makeup blender in my life. Certainly I'm not gonna fucking start now. I actually really have a problem with Beauty Blender. They can meet me outside. They can meet me in the fucking parking lot. I genuinely want to fist fight beauty blender. Not anyone particularly who works for the brand or represents the brand, not the owner, just the brand itself embodied as a human. I hate beauty blender. And I'm going to tell you why I fucking hate beauty blender. Nobody in this universe needs to buy a $20 fucking sponge. I don't know about you, but I get rid of my sponges fairly often because my skin's so sensitive. I don't want to like, even though I clean my sponge every day, it can only get so fucking clean. Is that just me? I don't know. So I don't want to put bacteria on my face. So I feel like I dispose of my sponges fairly, not, not, not like every time I use them, but you know, when the texture starts to change, when they start to get harder to clean, when it feels like their softness is going away, it's time to go. If I did that every time with a $20 sponge, like, I don't know what kind of job you people have, but my job doesn't allow me that lifestyle. I'm over here with my pawpaw sponge, living my best life, applying my makeup the best that I can. And I personally, I want to fist fight Beauty Blender because of their $20 sponge and also because 
all they fucking do is release sponges in different colors. I'm, how, how are people still falling for it? How are they still in business? Like who is keeping Beauty Blender in business? Who is buying these sponges? What kind of money do you have? I'm not here to judge you, but like there are other soft sponges in the world. I'm so pissed off for no reason. How do they keep continuing to do this? I want to know who is letting them get away with this. I'm gonna mark this as a true cash grab because they're all the fucking same. Buy any color beauty blender, they're all the same. It's just stupid. I had to take a second to take a breath and also dump the rest of what was remaining in this bottle into my cup. So we're truly about to drink a full bottle. Cheers. Artist Couture, the Ethereal Bloom. Eyeshadow palette, eight shades, matte and shimmers, $30. Diamond Lights Finisher in a new shade, Epiphany. Lilac base with blue, purple, and pink pearls. I actually love the Diamond Light finishers, I feel like they're very slept on. If you are a glitter topper kind of person, if you like flaky, sparkly, like texture, I have three that I've gotten on sale. Love all of them. I 100% want the Diamond Lights finisher. The palette though, which I feel like is what most people probably care about. I have these colors so much in my collection. I have the Glam Light Ice Cream Palette. I have the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm Palette. I have so many other things that mimic this color story. Doesn't mean I'm not into it though. I actually really like this and I really like the packaging. I like how it's a blue that gradients into like almost like a tangerine kind of tan color. I don't know. This is something that if I had more disposable cash at the moment, which I don't have that much, I would get this. If I like was the kind of person that just bought whatever the fuck I wanted. We all, don't we all have a list of shit that we would buy if we were the kind of person who just bought whatever the fuck we wanted? I've never actually tried Artist Couture eyeshadows in their palettes. I've only tried the finishers. I probably will eventually get the new Diamond Light Finisher. The palette is so appealing to me. I don't know why, because I know this is not new. I know this is done a hundred times over. I just kind of like it. I guess, is it technically another rainbow palette? It's not truly rainbow. It's kind of like a pastel palette. I'm going to put it as, put it on my face because genuinely, like, I would wear this. I kind of really love this. I love the whole idea of this and I want the diamond finisher so badly. So I'm going to say put it on my face, but really I don't need this. It's been done a million times. I kind of get why they would do it because they only have like neutrals and warm colors in their collection right now. I don't know. I'm just kind of like meh about the whole thing. Oh my God, I got my first ColourPop release on Makeup Bingo. <laughs> The ColourPop Cosmetics Melrose Collection palette, lip glosses, blah, 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 yada, 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 blushes, blushes in the same colors that they always release. Also looks like they're coming out with scrunchies. I don't have hair, but cool. Oh, face milk. Let's talk about the lip glosses. I'm here for lip glosses always, and especially nudie brown lip glosses. Not gonna buy them though. I have 8,000 lip glosses. The palette, it's neutrals. It's light colored neutrals. I think that's a pressed glitter. Is Social Club all the way on the right of pressed glitter? Okay, it doesn't look like they're, they're pressed glitters. It looks like they're just tan brown shadows. I'm not gonna lie to you all. I'm dipping my toes in the world of neutrals. I'm doing a pretty neutral look today, pretty brown tone look today, but fuck color pop. <laughs> I'm a little bit on the fuck color pop train right now, even though there are a lot of color pop products that I do really enjoy in my life. I just feel like if you have one ColourPop palette, you kind of have them all at this point. And I'm somebody with a lot of ColourPop shadows. And I kind of wish with the packaging, dare I say, I kind of wish there was more of a pop of blue or more of a pop of green, as opposed to what looks like kind of just like a greenish tinged gold. I kind of wish there was a little bit of a pop because Melrose to me, they're going with like this palm tree kind of vibe, beaches, warm weather. It makes me think of like, Fun blues and greens, right? Is that just me? I don't know. On the bingo card, this is of course, it's a ColourPop release, which I love that that's the middle square. <laughs> I'm gonna save my money personally. What is this shit? <laughs> a new Vicious Mascara from Nabla Cosmetics. 
I am going to say that I kind of thought this was a sex toy when I first looked at it. Okay, this is the Vicious Mascara from Nabla Cosmetics. Extra volume mascara, the vinyl formula, who the hell cares, cloth shaped comb on the brush. Oh, I see what they're saying. It kind of like has like a twister of spikes at the end. I'm good. Mascara is also, like I referenced earlier, not one of the things I tend to splurge on because I try to throw out my mascaras in a, you know, relatively appropriate timeline. And I'm not going to buy a high-end mascara, though I do kind of love the packaging. I wish it was like a, this packaging in like a lip gloss or a lip product. I think that would be really cool. It's so pretty. The packaging is so on point. I don't need this though. This is not an anti-haul. I almost just said don't need it, not gonna buy it, but it's true. Don't need it, not gonna buy it. I don't have anything on my bingo card for it other than just buy drugstore mascara. Trust me, there's no reason on this earth to ever buy a high-end mascara. <laughs> Something else that's so exciting. The flight cub, flight cub? Ho, <laughs> ho. I can also feel myself getting a sweat mustache so that's fun the flight club palette from menagerie cosmetics it seems to be inspired by fruit bats i have a little bit of <laughs> trauma when it comes to bats <laughs> I, I love bats they're spooky and adorable right but when i moved into this apartment story time when matt and i before we signed the lease for this apartment when we were just looking at this apartment we were warned by our landlady that this building gets about, in her words, a bat a year. Apparently in Albany, it is very common for bats to find their way into your home. <laughs> I live in a very old building. There are fireplaces in the building. They're capped in the apartments, but the tops aren't capped. We have old radiators and just lots of ways to get, you know, for, for things to get into the apartment. And sure enough, my very first fall here, a bat scared the shit out of me and then pandemonium ensued as Matt and I tried to get it out of our apartment. And then shortly after that, the beautiful Emily Hanhan was in Albany visiting me and I went to walk her out of my house after hanging out for a whole day and sure as shit, a bat was in the hallway and we both ran for our lives. So <laughs> that is my bat tangent. I've been scarred for life ever since. All of that being said, you bet your ass I'm buying this palette. I love Menagerie's formula, oh my God. God, I love their formula. I love purples, obviously. I wish instead of that downside up, like bright pale shade in the middle, I wish that was a red. Wouldn't it be cool if there were some pops of red in this palette? I love purples and reds together. And what worries me about this palette is that every look is probably gonna turn out the same, despite the fact that it's a 12 pan palette. I don't... I'm not the biggest fan of monochrome palettes that go beyond, let's say, nine shadows. Six to nine shadows is like my limit and then past that, it's a lot. I feel like even though there seems to be a warmer kind of purple, some cooler purples, a light purple, dark purple, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna get repetitive. I really wish there was a pop of red. The good thing about Menagerie though is their palettes are magnetized. So I could probably like throw a red in there if I wanted to, because I completely redid their pastel pup palette and now I like it a lot better. So I could see myself doing that. I could see myself getting this palette and getting rid of that pale shade that I don't like and throwing a red in there. And then I feel like you could do a lot of like really cool Valentine's-y kind of looks. I'm so into that. I'm so into purples and reds and pinks all mixed together. Love it though, I'm on it. I'm like so on it. I already did put it on my face. <laughs> Nothing on my bingo card other than I want it. I really, really want it. I'm not even gonna do drunk Bean would buy it because Sober Me would buy it. I thought this was ColourPop again for a second, but it's not. It's the new Teddy Bear collection from Too Faced, but bear is spelled like B-A-R-E, like my bear ass. And it's a bear in a face powder and it's a lip injection gloss and it's a palette. I wish the bear uh, compact was a highlighter and not a pressed powder because I would fucking buy the shit out of a highlighter that had a bear on it. I don't know. I don't like this. I don't like this in that one, I'm still kind of not vibing with Too Faced and two, these are such basic ass neutral colors. Oh my God. I feel like 
I know this isn't technically same shit new packaging, but it feels like same shit new packaging because when is when is Too Faced ever not done this? Like when have they never not done this eyeshadow palette a thousand times over? I'm gonna put it as same shit new packaging even though I know it doesn't count. I'm gonna break the rules. I don't care. I, uh, I, <laughs> I don't like also something that I've grown out of that like I used to love the idea of 2016 just getting a makeup lacy. The like bigger pans of the transition shades, I hate that. Chop that up, give me some more shadows, give me some more variety, give me some more depth. I'm so not here for this color story, I'm not, it's all 50 shades of beige. Ooh, <laughs> the new Glaminatrix U Beauty palette. Is that really what it's called, U Beauty palette? U Beauty, okay, I see what they're saying. Ah, uh, this is sexual. I love this. I love the swatches of this. It is multi-chromes. Oh my God, I want to touch it. I've never tried anything from Glaminatrix before, but every time I see this, anytime I see swatches of this, anything, I just wanna put my little grubby phalanges in it. I think the swatches of those multi-chromes are like the sexiest shit ever. I'm so weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is obviously on the bingo card, all of the multi-chromes. Oh my god, I want this. I think it's kind of, isn't it kind of expensive? I thought I saw swatches and now I can't find any on <laughs> social media. Oh, I have to go to the Glaminatrix website. Oh my god, they're just sexual. They, I've been seduced. Uh, I, I mean, even the matte colors, those are my kind of shades. Those kind of almost deep subcultury kind of mattes. I love that light taupey purple they threw in there with the light blue. I'm so here for this. I'm so here for the color story. Uh, a pre-order. When does this come out? Cause I kind of want it. Also, how much is it? I still can't find the price. 74 US dollars <laughs> and 15 for shipping. So what is that? Almost $90. That makes it almost $90. A Pat McGrath palette is $125. Oh, the price hurts me so bad. The price hurts me so bad. I want this so badly though. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll, I'll see. You. I'm not gonna probably buy this first off. This is the kind of thing where if I heard a lot of people raving about it, I would definitely get it. Oh God, I want it so bad. <laughs> anyway, all of the multi-chromes. I'm so... Oh, I'm such a slut for the multi-chromes and the textured shadows and the beautiful duochromes and the glitters and all of that stuff. I would fuck this palette up. I want it so bad. Oh my god, I almost lost my bingo card. <laughs> I'm starting to get to the point where I wouldn't have remembered what I checked off already. Another ColourPop release. We already checked off the ColourPop box, but let's keep going. The Bambi collection. We're getting to a point where I have to be honest with you all. I'm so here for the Thumper palette. I love the grungy purpley taupe tones. Thumper is my favorite out of Bambi, but I'm not really a Bambi bitch. Like, to be honest with you, it's not one of those Disney movies that I have the heartstring pull and nostalgia for. It's not something that we're like, the IP of this is gonna like make me buy it no matter what. I don't have that kind of connection with it, but I just like the aesthetic and I like Thumper, I think Thumper's cute. I love the Luxe lip glosses, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a sucker for colorful eyeliners. This is something where if ColourPop didn't release shit every five seconds, I might be tempted to buy this, but I'm just not here to fight with the release date. I'm not here to support some shit that ColourPop has a thousand times over in their collection because I feel like then they just put out these palettes in the Animal Crossing palettes. They just put a purple palette and a warm tone palette out in those. What's the fucking difference? I like that purpley toned lip gloss though. I'm here for that. The body sparkles though, that would be something I would put on my vanity and then never touch. Just aesthetically pretty. Eyelashes, don't need them. I kind of like this. I hate to admit it. I'm not gonna go for it because I don't know what the fuck ColourPop is doing at any given moment, but also they're trying to be more inclusive for people with darker skin tones, but they're just saying that and not actually doing anything in my opinion. And I think all of their releases prove that. I don't know. And also what I've noticed with the collab products from ColourPop is that they have all this hype. The first couple releases of it sell out instantaneously, but then on like their fourth free stock, 
they make so much product and it sits around forever and you could buy it at a discount. So like, I'm good. It counts as another ColourPop thing, which doesn't help my bingo card at all, but let's, whatever. The new Tower 28 Tinted Balms. I, they're lip and cheek balms in three new colors, Brush Hour, Power Hour, and After Hours. This is another one where unfortunately for me on my bingo card, I already bought these because I love, I love Tower 28. I love their aesthetic. I love their products. I love a cream blush and my perf my ideal form of a cream blush is in a bomb and 10,000 more points for the product if it's a product that I could use on my cheeks and my lips because I fuck with that so hard. I fuck so hard with putting the same color on your cheeks and lips, especially for work. Oh, I look like goth glossier when I do that shit because I always do colorful smoky eyes. I'm so here for it. I love it. Already bought it, but I don't, I don't even have them yet though. I bought them and they're not here yet. So I can't give you any kind of review, but I can tell you that I've loved the other Tower 28 bombs that I've tried. Whatever this hand motion is, very excited for this. Ooh, okay. I've been ooing a lot in this video. I'm sorry for that. I just don't know how else to express myself. <laughs> this is another thing that when I saw it, my little heart was like, because I kind of wanted it so badly. <laughs> this is the Blockbuster eyeshadow palette from Hot Topic. I'm not going to buy this because notoriously Hot Topic eyeshadows are crap from what I understand. But I... As someone who was born in 92, really have the nostalgia feels for the Blockbuster packaging. I actually really like these colors. It's an all matte palette. I'm kind of down with that. I'm here for that. These colors feel like Blockbuster. I don't know how else to express my feelings beyond that, but it does. It feels like Blockbuster. They have the Blockbuster blue and the Blockbuster goldeny yellow in the palette. That's incredible. I wish again, this was just like an empty palette or even just a box that I could push it in. Moral of the story, I need to track down a Blockbuster rental carton and just keep my shit in it because that's what I ideally want. I'm not gonna buy this. It's so cool though. Is it stupid that I think this is cool? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm clinging on to any ounce of happiness I could find right now. I'm gonna mark this as a true cash grab because it is all kind of like in collabs with non-makeup things for nostalgia purposes are a true cash grab. But I, I, another thing that I genuinely want, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, come for me, I don't care. Again, something else that I'm really excited for, the new Midas Valentine's Day collection. They're doing lipsticks and pencil lip liners and the thing that I'm so like, who oh, I'm getting very excited in this video. The thing that makes my heart pitter patter is the eyeliner palette, the water activated eyeliners, cake liners. That's the word I'm looking for. The cake liner palette. I'm very excited actually that I'm going to be getting the cake liner palette in PR. Thank you so much Midas for sending this to me. I Get, I'm on the PR list for Midas Cosmetics and I do actually have an affiliate code with Midas Cosmetics. I know, I have yet to really accept an affiliate code with any other brand, but I'm so here for Midas and what they're doing. And I'm so here for the direction that they're going and I stand by the quality of their products and the price point of their products. That being said, the lipsticks are not my colors. I don't wear reds like this or pinks. I don't kind of wear those tones. I tend to stick with browns and things like that. The uh, the cake liners though, like get it on my face. <laughs> if you are interested in these products, you could use my code SPOOKY for I believe 20% off. It is an affiliate code, which means I will earn a small commission if you use that code. You don't have to use it. You can use anybody else's code or not use a code at all. Do what you want to do. I'm not telling you how to shop. I'm just telling you it's there if you want it, baby. I love the combo of pink and green. Pink is my favorite color that tends to shock a lot of people. And green is Matt's favorite color. Like this kind of green too, this lime green. We're very Cosmo and Wanda. So this is like made for me. I feel seen by this cake liner palette. I have nothing to, for my bingo card for this other than I'm excited for it. <laughs> Some Fenty Skin, the Flash Nap. My brain couldn't comprehend what that meant for a second. 
as if you were to have gotten a nap. Okay. Or have taken a nap. That seems like proper English. The Flash Nap Instant Revival Eye Gel Cream. I hate that name. I hate that my brain just like miscalculated. <laughs> Like it misfired as I read that. I don't, I don't know. I just don't like that name. It feels clunky. The Flash Nap Eye Gel? Flash Nap. How much is that? <laughs> Why is it like that? Oh, is it an eye roller on the bottom? $32.42 with eye massage gel. Oh, okay. That's not the tube. <laughs> I was looking at the massage tool thinking that was the, the product dispenser. It's clearly the tube next to it. Okay, and it comes with an eye roller. I am team face roller, and I will tell you why I'm team face roller. Like a billion of my best friends, and by a billion I mean three, three of my closest friends are estheticians, and they have told me that the face roller is not bullshit, that massaging your face has like skin benefiting things to it. <laughs> is it helps drain your lymphatic nodes. It's why you get a facial, a face massage during a facial. Wine is starting to kick in, people. So I was told that the face roller is not BS. The woo-woo crystal part of it, where it's like a pink crystal for him, that is bullshit. But the act of massaging your face is not bullshit. And I am a sucker for like a cooling eye massage, like putting stuff in the fridge, like an eye, like, like a, you know, I have a face roller. Stick that shit in the fridge. Uh, but the nap, instant flash match. <laughs> I hate the name so much. It's $32, which I'm not actually mad at for an eye cream because I don't know about you, but it takes me 900 years to go through an eye cream because I use like a little amount. Your eye isn't your whole face. You're using less, right? Reduces the look of fine lines and wrinkles and crow's feet. Don't they all? Don't they all claim to do that? Do they though? Do they clean fresh scent? I don't know if I want a scent near my eyes. That almost sobered me up. I don't mind a scent in skincare, but so close to my eyeballs that it just feels stingy. On my bingo card, this is even more skincare. I'm good with skincare. I am not somebody who likes to shake up their skincare because my skincare routine is finally perfect, in my opinion. Uh, I've yet to try Fenty Beauty. Let me know if you like them because I feel like after the initial launch, I've heard nothing ever since. The new Viseart Paris Love Letter Etendu Entude. I'm so sorry. I'm so American. I'm so sorry. Palette. My initial thought looking at this was like, fuck me up. I love the tangerine pink packaging and I love the pop of the tangerine and the purple and the green. However, then my brain was like, this looks exactly like the Mel Thompson, Sydney Grace, Little Marvels palette, Mar Majestic Mar Marvels, Mini Marvels, the Mar with the bugs on it. I have that palette. I love that palette. Could not put that palette down. One of the best palettes I bought last year, in my opinion. But my brain was like, you have this palette already because you have Mel's palette. Uh, if my angle is different, it's because my memory card got full. What was I saying? Ha I have three of the Viseart Pro palettes. I have one, two, and three, the two matte ones and the like metallic glittery one. Love all three of those. You'd have to rip them from my cold dead hands. I also have two of the smaller all matte palettes that I'm really a fan of. I have yet to buy one of their more for mainstream market, not so much for artists, like mix of matte and shimmer, more affordable palettes. This is the one I would get though, I think, if I was gonna do it. There's something about this that is just so appealing to me and so inspiring to me. I love the combination of these colors. I'm not gonna buy this though. I think what this is, is Drunk Me would buy this. <laughs> I am so tempted by this. I don't think I would buy it in my right mind, but I would buy it in my tipsy mind. Ugh, fizzy art. I like this. <laughs> I thought I was gonna dislike more products, but I actually like a lot of these these things that we've talked about tonight. What the hell? <laughs> New minis from Melt Cosmetics, your favorite pigment pack lip and eye formula stuffed into pocket sized packaging. There's a mini nude set of ultra matte lipsticks. 
Mini red set, neutral brown petite eyeshadow stack. Why? <laughs> this is so stupid. They're so itty bitty. There's a picture of the size comparison. They look like Sephora 100 point perks. Absolutely the fuck not. How much are these sets? I can't even find a price, but whatever it is, it's not worth it. Oh my God, so I almost just shit my pants. I thought it was $79 for the just a thing of lipsticks, but that's for the whole collection. It's $30 for the eyeshadow stacks, $39 for the lipsticks, for literally what looks like Sephora point perks. No, absolutely not. This, this, this melt, melt, you can stand next to Beauty Blender as I get ready to kick your ass. I hate this. This is a bundle deal that nobody wants. I hate it. Stupid. Makeup for ants. I know everyone probably already made that joke. What is this? Stop it right now. Get the hell out of here with this. Becca Cosmetics. Face palette. Sunsetter face palette. Sunsetter face palette. Becca Cosmetics. This looks like everything Becca Cosmetics has ever done in Becca Cosmetics lifetime available on Nordstrom. I want to read the shade names and Escapist I almost read as Escape. Escapist Calypso, Cal Calypso Coral Vava Bloom. Instead of Vava Voom, it's Vava Bloom <laughs> and Gold Trotter which makes me think of horses. How is this not every highlighter or face palette that they've ever released? I don't know, the highlighters are kind of pillow. I don't know, it's just, this looks like mom makeup. Shout out to all the moms out there, you're all rock stars, but what I mean by that is like, not like hip moms, but like Karen moms that are walking into an Ulta and they only know like it cosmetics and they see this and they go, oh, that's nice. Cause it's the white interior kind of makes it look cheapy peepy and weird. To quote Hannah Louise Post in cheapy peepy. I don't know. There's something like very, um, what's when they sell shit to you late at night on like QVC. There's something very QVC about this. There's something very infomercial about this because there's such basic bitch colors that have existed time and time again in Becca's existence. Becca, I'm gonna call this a collab or a product that won't die because Becca only does highlighters. Let's face it. Let's face the truth together. And I'm someone with a lot of Becca highlighters, but they only know highlighters, man. They need to move on. They need to expand because we all have a Becca highlighter by now. We don't need more. I don't need more. And I certainly don't need more in the same colors that they already come in, no matter what, if they want to call them Vava Bloom or not. Oh, I hit bingo. <laughs> ah, okay, well, cheers, I hit bingo. Let's, let's, I should just finish this because I hit bingo. Ah. Uh, it's carbonated, so it kind of hurts the chug. We hit bingo and drank a whole bottle of wine. Don't do this at home, kids. And I'm also 28. I'm allowed to do this because I'm an adult with a job. Anyway, <laughs> I hit bingo. I, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, okay. Return of the, no, we're not gonna do that. Um, That was my first makeup bingo. Thank you so much, Teresa, Emily, and Audra for including me in your cool kids club and inviting me to do this with you guys. I had so much fun. I am so excited to do this again. I love makeup. I love talking about makeup. I love talking shit about makeup. Oh my God. I, like I said earlier, will leave everyone's channel down below. I'm perfing so much. I hope I edited it all out. I chugged a carbonated beverage. Like what did I think was gonna happen? I will leave my information down below. What's on my face, my social medias, all of that jazz. If you like this video, if you like makeup bingos, and if you like me, please hit like and subscribe. You can also follow me on my Instagram, which is also Spooky Lips from Fat Hips, and my Twitter at Spooky Lacey. Both will be linked down below. I will have the products that I've talked about and everything else that could have been on Makeup Bingo today listed down below. I'll have the makeup on my face listed down below. I will have all of my friends listed down below. But other than that, 
that is all I have to say. That was fucking makeup bingo. Fuck yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you on the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>